Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak, and welcome to the video. And welcome to my series, You Know What Ticks Me Off. This is a series where I point out the things that really ticks me off. From the internet, to reality, games, movies, everyday stuff, etc, etc. From the really, really small things to the really, really big things. Some of you guys might get it, and some of you may not get it. As to why I make segments of the subject that I'm talking about. And these are segments that matters to me. Some of you might find them pointless, some of you might find them interesting. But if there's a certain thing in real life or on the internet or any books or games or etc 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 that you want my thoughts on, and if that certain subject really ticks me off, I just might make a segment about it. So without further ado, let's resume with the video. You know what really ticks me off? Colour washing. Now, what am I saying? What am I talking about? Well, some of you guys may have heard of the phrase whitewashing, when white actors portray a certain demographic of people. Like for example, Mickey Rooney portraying an Asian person in the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's or Scarlett Johansson in the 2017 movie Ghost in the Shell where she portrays the major who is supposed to be Japanese but both of these actors are white. So you guys have basically got the general idea. This is basically what whitewashing is. So what am I talking about when it comes to colour washing? Well, it's the opposite. It's when people of colour or ethnicity replaces somebody who is white. Like for example, the new James Bond film where they replaced James Bond who was originally a white straight man with a lesbian black woman. Which shouldn't be the case because James Bond has always been a suave ladies man, white English gentleman. And I'll tell you guys something, I was pissed. And here's another example, DuckTales 2017. In the original DuckTales, Fenton Crackshell, who was also Gizmo Duck, was originally a white duck. And now in the 2017 one of DuckTales, they made Fenton Crackshell Hispanic. And yes, I know that's a cartoon duck. And technically, Fenton isn't white. But hey, I'm still counting it. And there was also Velma in the Scoob movie. Velma has always been a white woman. But in the Scoob movie, they turned her into a Latina or Hispanic. I mean, seriously. What the hell, man? And there was also the Fantastic Four. The Human Torch, or Johnny Storm, has always been a white person. But instead, he was swapped over with a black guy in the 2015 movie. And that's exactly what I mean by colour washing. Why the hell did they swap these characters with people of colour? And not just these, but other roles as well. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of people complain for years, saying, Oh, white people are portraying ethnic minorities or people of colour for years. And they keep on complaining about it, complaining about it, and complaining about it. And considering what's been happening in this day and age, especially now, but nobody says anything when it comes to ethnic minorities or people of colour swapping white people out with people of colour or other ethnic minorities. We do not hear a peep from these people. I mean, when it comes to whitewashing, everybody just throws their hands in the air saying, oh, change this, change this. Back in the day, this was wrong. But when a white person is swapped with a person of colour, then they don't say anything hypocrisy much. Now I know some of you are going to say, you're going to say, Oh, but Geek Freak, we're just trying to include everybody. Don't people of colour or ethnic minorities deserve re representation? Well, no. It depends on the story and the demographic. Okay, let's just say, for example, that there was a movie in Japan or China, and literally everybody in those movies were Japanese or Chinese. You know, a Japanese film completely full of Japanese, and a Chinese film filled with Chinese people. Now, let me ask you guys this. Let's just say, for example, that you're in a country, like for example, Poland, and they decided to make a movie, and it was all about Poland in the 1500s. Now, before I continue, there's one thing I wanna ask you guys. Do you guys want 100% accuracy when it comes to history? Yes or no? And obviously, you would say yes. Now, let me ask you guys this question. Let's just say, for example, they did make a movie about Poland in the 1500s, and there was only white people in Poland, and the storytellers was trying so hard to make everything accurate of what happened in the 1500s. That includes the people who lived in Poland in the 1500s. That would mean there would be only white people there. No Asians, no Hispanics, no black people. I would prefer it if it was historically accurate. There doesn't need to be any representation here. It depends on the history, the location, and the characters. Like I said earlier, the major from Ghost in the Shell, she's Japanese, but she was played by a white woman in the live action movie. And also the human torch has always been a white dude, but they swapped him with a black dude. I mean, let me ask you guys something. Let's just say, for example, they decided to remake the Fresh Prince of 
Bel-Air. Now, we all know what the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was. It was an all-black cast. And you know what? I absolutely love that show. Nobody can replace any of the cast. But let's just say, for example, that they decide to remake this series. But they decide to put an all-white cast with no black people, no Hispanics, and no Asians. How would you guys feel then? And obviously, you would be outraged. And you know what? I would be on your side too. Because again, nobody can replace the characters from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Or let's just say, for example, that Fat Albert was going to be remade, but they was going to replace all the main cast with Asians. Yeah, nobody would want that. And listen, it doesn't matter if there's no Asians or Black or Hispanics or whatever. As long as they're telling a good story, then that's all that matters. Like, for example, again, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. There is no main cast that are white. I mean, yeah, you'll get some white people come onto the show time to time alongside other minorities, but where's the representation for Hispanics or Asians or whites in that show? I'll tell you why, because it doesn't matter. Because the majority of episodes in this series are fan freaking tastic. Anybody and everybody will have a good laugh at this series. Anybody can take good morals and good lessons from this series. And I would never want to replace any of the characters from this show because they are all lovable. I mean, how would you guys feel if they decided to recreate this series and they decide to have an Asian guy in the series and he's the butler? Jeffrey was a black dude and it wouldn't be right to change any of these characters' races. It's just wrong to say otherwise. I don't want a black female lesbian James Bond. I don't want an Hispanic Velma. Characters' races should not be changed so people can feel that their race is being included. I mean, I love Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and I don't want any characters' races changed and have one of my own race to be put in there so I would feel happy. You can watch a white show, you can watch a black show, you can watch an Asian show, you can watch an Hispanic show, you can watch any sort of show that has the majority of any race and find it enjoyable and funny with good lessons. You can be white and take good lessons from a black show. You can be Asian and take good lessons from an Hispanic show. You can be black and and take good lessons from a white show. You can enjoy a show, even if your own race isn't in that show or movie or comic or whatever. As long as the story's good, the morals are good, and it's funny, then who cares? I just don't want characters being replaced. Again, if people are saying that it was wrong for people to whitewash years ago, then the same thing can be said if somebody is color washing. And that, my friends, is what ticks me off. So what do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Are you guys sick and tired of colour washing? Please let me know in the comments section below and let's get a discussion going. I'm Geek Freak. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. And if there's a series you want me to check out and review and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions or responses or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment sections below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the bell on, share this video, and leave a comment in the comment sections below. And as for my social medias, I'm literally freaking everywhere i'm on most video platforms social medias forums and support sites it's best to pause the video and see where i am literally all this is down in the description box below so if you want to go and check those out please do i'm geek freak peace out